All right, let's talk about kettlebell goblet squat. So let's talk about the hold. It's a goblet hold. The goblet hold is with the kettlebell upside down with the handle going front to back and gripping underneath the ball of the bell and gripping on the sides. So let's talk about the squat setup. For the squat setup, you want your feet about shoulder width apart, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. And when you drop down into your squat, you're gonna lead with your knees. You're gonna drive your knees forward and sit your butt down. Your goal is you're aiming your tailbone between your heels, right in the center between your heels. That's your goal. And as you're driving down, you want your hips to get down behind your knees. That's your goal each and every rep. And as you drive back up, create tension in your knees by imagining someone's pressing in on your knees and you're creating tension by driving the knees out. So you're not actually pushing your knees out, you're just creating tension by forcing them out as if someone was pushing in on them. So here's what it should look like. I'll show you from the side. Holding that kettlebell, again, the elbows need to be pulled in close, straight up and down. And you want full hip extension at the top of the movement. Every single rep, lock the hips out. That is your kettlebell goblet squat.